We're going to be talking about this uh, wonderful uh, ADI Evo board LTM 4607. It's got uh, four LTM modules uh, on it with the external inductor. And this is uh, going to produce uh, 12 volts out at about 20 amps, and it, it can do buck boost um, on this uh, configuration. This is uh, what the part looks like. It's 36 volt max input, 24 out, um, high efficiency buck boost, micro module, DC to DC micro module, and you, you can see that the inductor is an external, but couple caps and resistor to set up uh, some of the configuration and you're off to the races. Here are some of the features. Switching frequencies that this guy's running at. Package size. Things of that nature. Um, let's look at here's uh, configuration of the Evo board. 6 volts in up to 36 out. 12 volts out, or 6 volts in to a uh, max of 36 volts in, um, and then uh, output is 12 volts at 20 amps. So, pretty slick uh, Evo board. They do have uh, other Evo boards that have less uh, inductors and chips, but this is the, uh, the big boy. So, let's see how this is going to work. So on this uh, configuration, we have the uh, input voltage coming in on the top with some wimpy um, wires. Um, down, down in the bottom, we have some loading um, on the output pins. And um, I've got a voltmeter monitoring at this point here because we shall see that uh, with the electronic load, um, there's some voltage drop across the cables. So right now I'm setting up my uh, power supply uh, with the 14 volt output and um, 10 amp max output. So that's what I've got. And then here is the, um, the electronic load. I've got uh, 12 volts being sensed at this point. I'm going to go up to 10 amps on the electronic load. And so um, we've got our 12 volts coming up there. We've got a 12 volts coming out here, and when I turn the electronic load on, um, we're going to drop the uh, input voltage down coming in to these wires here because they're kind of wimpy. Um, but as we can see, the input power is about 131 watts. Um, this is a little less over here because some power loss, things of that nature. But uh, we can see that the Evo board is still putting out with 12 volts even though the electronic load is dropping down um, due to some of this uh, loading wires that I have. Um, this supply right here tops out at 10 amps, so if I uh, increase the uh, load up to 11 amps or 12 amps, uh, this guy over here is going to not be so happy. So anyway, hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, this particular Evo board and um, there's the actual micro module part number. Hope you like the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.